Hey, what's up guys? I'm Physical Copy and this is going to be my first EDC video. Right, guys yeah thanks for tuning in and uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into it so first let's get the boring out of the way first and something everyone's always seen iPhones 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 uh, they're really uh, user-friendly uh, I, all I need is for is YouTube uh, texting posting memes on Facebook uh, that's all I need it for nothing fancy it takes amazing pictures I went with the 13 Pro and not the Pro Max because it's just way too big and I like to try to keep it as minimal as possible now, let's talk about something real quick. You know, my screen here, it's not the actual screen that's broken. Um, it's a little case or like the cover that I have over it. So I was probably about this high up at work and I dropped it like that on my desk and what happens it has some cracks on it and that's fine that's what this is for is to protect the phone and then it has of course the Apple uh, it's like the midnight black or just it's a finger magnet of course you can see um, but and look here, so I dropped it just a little bit here and it chipped off. So I can't imagine, um, like the other YouTubes that I've seen that carry their iPhones with no case on it. I don't get it. It's so dangerous. And I barely dropped this from really small, like distances from my desk to, to the ground. And it, you know, it does this kind of damage. So I don't get it. Uh, always put a case on your phone guys I, I don't understand i know a lot of big youtubers have the money to get new phones pretty easily but i'm your average joe these things are a thousand dollars put a case on it guys but there's my iphone right there um use it often all the time why not okay now i'm really a big sucker for luxury items for an edc and you'll see some of that here today. And um, I will try to um, link everything in the description below if I can find it still, because some of it's old. Uh, but the newest one that I've stumbled upon recently is a Smithson Pocket Notebook. And this thing is a $90 pocket notebook, and it is fresh it's amazing i love the smell of the leather i mean you can just look at that that leather on it i mean if you can you hear that Ooh, sounds good i love the way it looks i love how fancy it is the pages are blue I like that. Um, and these pages specifically, uh, from what I've heard or read, um, that they're supposed to not let ink bleed through it. So it's great for fountain pens. But the only downside for me for a fountain pen is that it is not fountain pens don't work well with left-handed people. Um, I thought they would. I thought they work from every angle, but that seems not to be the case. Um, I've tried and tried and tried. I've bought fountain pens that cost over 100 bucks, and it was just a waste of money. So, but... Um, you know, that's kind of just what it looks on the inside. It has that Smithson, uh, 
text at the bottom on every page. And uh, I, I don't want to show you what I write in here. Uh, my profession is a uh, vet assistant, and I write down all my drug calculations on here, so I can't quite show you that kind of stuff. So this luxury item, love it. It's great. Fits in my back pocket. It bends great. And I mean, it just feels amazing. I can't wait to break this in more. Now, as far as pins go, um, I just buy these Sharpie S gel pins from Walmart. It was like two fifty for a pack of two, and I keep one with me and in my car at all times, just in case I lose this one. This is what I write on everything with. It writes great. Uh, I love the way it looks, um, and it's cheap. So, this versus a hundred fifty dollar pin, I'll take this right here. And of course, uh, when I'm doing my drug calculations, uh, when I'm recording a new uh, drug calculation, I'll highlight uh, a lot of stuff on it. So when I flip through it, I can find something really easily through all the writing that's in it. So this really, yeah, these um, highlighters help out a lot. And for some reason, pink is the best for my eyes. Don't know why. Yellow, I'm not a big fan. Okay, now let's see here. We have uh, EDC pouches are like the biggest thing right now that I'm seeing all over Instagram. Um, the pouches that are popular, extremely hard to get a hold of, and they're very expensive, so I stay away from those. I bought this thing for 30 bucks off a guy on uh, Instagram. Nike on his channel was, or his uh, page wasn't very big, uh, but he made quality stuff. So um, it has a little place to put my patches at, which I needed, and it just has a small compartment. I'll put some money in here sometimes, when I have some, uh, and then, but right now all I have is a toenail clipper or nail clipper. And then I have here, a lot of people keep carry coins on them for fidgeting purposes, which sometimes I'll pull this out for that, but not a lot, but this coin in particular is kind of special for me. Um, this came from a Mortal Kombat 11 uh, event that, that was held, and if you turn this coin in, you can redeem it for one drink. If you can see it there, it says redeem for one drink on each side. So this is really cool. Um, I used to be a huge game collector, memorabilia collector. And when I sold everything off, I kept some things. And this is the thing that I kept. So um, I really, really like having this. It reminds me of the good times when I used to spend tons of money on video game stuff. So now let's go to the patches. We have the, uh, what is this, Arthur um, clenching fist meme patch. The Black Mage Patch from Final Fantasy. I'm a huge Mega Man fan. Uh, so someone made a um, Hawaiian Mega Man patch and then a Ryu patch because, you know, who doesn't love Street Fighter? So there's that. Now, I'm not a huge knife guy, but this next item, I saw it on Instagram. I always see how well, nicely they place their knives in these photos. And I got curious and I, was like, I needed a knife. I have like a really really crappy one from Home Depot that I use for just opening boxes. Um, but this one caught my eye. Another luxury item. This is a knife from Tactile Turn. And it's probably one of the nicest knives that I've ever seen. It is a $300 knife, but damn, it's worth it. The design on it's great. This clip for your pants or your belt loop, however you want to do it. Um, it is, it is really nice. Uh, it's not flimsy at all. This is me trying to pull it all up as hard as I can. And that's about as, that's about as far as I can go with it. It fits in your pant pocket really nicely. Just slides right in there. Um, the blade, it looks great. It, it looks kind of messed up up here because I open boxes with it constantly and I go through a lot of tape. So it's like kind of some adhesive sticking to the blade here. I need to clean that off. Um, but it has the tactile uh, text there. And for you guys that know uh, about good quality uh, knives, you got your it's a Magna Cut blade here. Really nice. It looks great. I love pulling this thing. Every time someone needs a knife, I'm like, here you go. Try this out. Feels great in the hand. Uh, I'm not really big on flipping these things out or anything like that. I always worry I'm going to throw it on some at somebody on accident so just always being careful this thing comes out really nice uh the 100 percent name of this one i can't remember if it's the rock wall is what it's called but i'll link it down below these things are hard to come by and i think they do restock it every so often but as knives go 
sometimes they don't. So and it has these little ridges on it here. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like, yeah, here we go. See it there. Love it. Great knife. I don't think I'll ever need another knife, guys. Here we go. Now, my watch of choice, um, again, being a uh, vet assistant, uh, getting a pulse and a respiration on every patient that comes in is very important, uh, and monitoring during surgeries is very important. So having a watch that has uh, you know seconds on it is really important because I have to just time it that way. Apple watches, uh, I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, I just like this plain, you know, you know, everyday looking watch here. And then, you know, it has the, the time, the date, you know, the day, uh, has an alarm clock on it. It has a uh, backlit, or, you know, has a little light on it if I ever want to see in the dark, which is not a really big deal. And just the way this watch, look, this watch looks, um, it's a, it's all clear translucent. It may not seem that way because of how this looks, but it's yellowed over time because I, the things that we use in the clinic have gotten into it and kind of yelled it. So, but even with that, it's liquid that gets in here. It's waterproof. It's, I mean, it is durable. Um, it is probably one of my most favorite watches. I owe a couple G shocks, but this one just looks great. looks awesome on my wrist. And then, like I said, every time I need to do a pulse and a respiration, this thing is really easy to look at. So really, I really, really love this watch here. Now to be specific, it is a DW 5600 SK-1. <laughs> so it's part of their skeleton series, I believe. And this is actually, I think, I believe sold out. So I think the only place you can find it is on eBay. I bought it for 100 bucks, So I would imagine uh, aftermarket, you're looking at, you know, double. Who knows? But love this watch. Now, uh, for battery power... I have a couple, and then first, you know, the one that most people have is these Anchor MagSafe uh, battery here. Um, it can give you or your phone one full battery charge, I believe. USB-C charging. Um, this little flap right here can come out, magnetically sticks to the back, and you can put your phone on it and watch videos on it while it charges, or you can turn it to landscape mode and you can watch videos that way. I use this all the time when I go to lunch just to watch stuff while I'm eating. So that's really nice. Now the next one with more power, I believe this is a 20,000, let me double check that, a 20,000, I would say it was a milliamp, is that how they sell it? Uh, uh, anchor battery pack it has this kind of like fabric uh, finish on the top of it and i believe uh, this can charge your phone three times over i believe so um but usually my co-workers use this mostly when they need battery power they come to me and like the doctor came and she used about half of it <laughs> it usually has four lights on it and has two uh, this thing takes a long time to charge and it has lots of power in it so this thing's really nice it's thin somewhat but it's it's heavy probably the heaviest thing in my bag i would say but you can't really notice it Okay, next is my wallet. Um, this is from uh, Anvi, Anvi Original. I got this off Kickstarter. Um, I look at Kickstarter constantly for new projects. I have three or four funded right now um, that I can't wait to get. Anvi just actually came out with a new wallet that I'm pretty excited to get. It got shipped the other day, and hopefully I can do an unboxing of it and kind of show you. Um, I tried different wallets. Um, I've tried, you know, the ones that with the cards that come out uh, with the bottom and then the ones that come with trackers on it and they're just too thick uh and they just you know they put a bulge in my pocket and i'm not a big fan of that this thing is extremely thin uh, the back i think it said the max can hold is like nine to ten cards so it really stretches it out and when this is stretched out it's stretched out so make sure you just keep the same amount of cards that you usually keep the front is where i keep two of my most used cards and the back is where I keep all my other credit cards and my license. This little flap right here can hold a key or it can hold change. Or I've even folded up a dollar bill or two to put it in there. But it kind of makes it a little bit bulky, so I usually don't. Um, but, yeah, look at this thing. So thin, and it, can just, it just slides right into your pocket, and, and you can't even tell it's there. It's amazing. I 
I've seen other wallets like this one. This one is just a lot fancier. Look at that leather broken in. Um, the fabric kind of uh, frays here, but I just like get a lighter and burn it off. And it looks, I've had this for years. Uh, I keep switching back to other wallets, um, but this I keep coming back. This one is just so thin, so minimal. I love this wallet. Next, um, my Bluetooth uh, earbuds are the Sony's. Um, now, give me a second here because Sony doesn't just name them Sony Earbuds 2 or Max. They call this one the WF-1000X. 40 or M4 is what they call, but I'll link that in the description below. These are pretty expensive. I believe uh, brand new. They're close to $300, but let me explain. These are noise canceling earbuds and I've used the uh, AirBuds Pro or the ones that have noise canceling. They, it's pretty good, but these, man, these, these drown out about, uh, in my opinion, like 98, 99% of all sound uh, when you're listening to stuff. The buds are thicker, uh, but once they're in your ear, they look great, and you can barely tell. It's kind of mostly just this part showing because this goes deep into your ear, which sounds uncomfortable, but it fits great, and it, it looks great. I love black. I don't know why Apple won't do anything black. Don't get it. Um, so uh, you, you click the side and you can go to noise canceling mode or you can go to ambient mode. And uh, when you're ambient mode, you can hear stuff around you more. Uh, but the best thing that I love about these is that when you're listening to music and someone tries to get your attention, it'll actually stop the music. If someone's speaking to you, um, it'll stop the music and it'll put you right into ambient mode where you can hear everything around you. So you can continue a conversation or if I say something, it'll stop the music or pause it, and then uh, I can speak and I can hear everything. And through ambient mode, it kind of amplifies the uh, environment around you so you can hear better. So it, these are crazy. I, I've never, ever come across earbuds like this in my life. And these are worth USB charging. I think it said five to ten minutes can get you an hour of uh, listening time. And I believe a full... A charge it gives you four to five hours of straight listening time which i don't ever use them that much um but when i'm uh working when i work and there's dogs around i'm cleaning cages and they're barking their heads off uh put the noise canceling on and i can barely hear anything this is these are amazing they're wireless charging um i can you can even use the um anchor battery pack to charge them and like I said, five minutes to 10 minutes can give you like an hour of listening time if they're completely dead. Um, when you put the earbuds in, it tells you what percentage that you're on, which is always nice. So the, this is these earbuds, man, I don't know where earbuds can go from here. I, from, I'm a Sony believer now on earbuds. The package that it comes in or this container it's it's pretty thick um i mean i like the gen one apple earbuds because they're so small uh and but this is this is a little thicker but i'm okay with it it fits my bag perfectly and i mean i i love i love these earbuds i use them all the time now uh i don't while I'm listening to music and I'm hanging out, uh, I'm a huge anime manga fan, and I always got to keep a manga on me to read. And right now I'm reading through Kaiju number eight, and they don't have many of these out right now. I think uh, I haven't checked in a little bit. There's got to be at least a couple more volumes out. Um, but this is a really great uh, manga to read, really action packed. Uh, you know, the protagonist gets, you know, awesome powers in it and stuff and there's a lot of really violent moments in it and i'm really enjoying it so far i heard there's going to be an anime adaptation soon to this which is really cool because it's really action-packed and it's, it's going to do well uh when it comes out animated so uh, i highly recommend checking out kaiju number eight i love collecting mangas i love reading them they're so amazing the stories just really really capture you and you know it's a lot better than reading just like a normal kind of book these days um and a lot of people say you know like oh they're kind of like just children's books like don't really care <laughs> they're really violent the characters are amazing and i hate when i finish a manga series it feels like you know, I lost a part of myself because the whole series is over. But um, I have a whole bunch of mangas. Uh, if you comment below, you know, I can kind of show you my manga collection that I have in my 
uh, music room that I have with all my records and stuff. So I'll, I probably hope it will be a, a lot further in the series by the time next time I do an EDC video. Now, uh, let's, let's move on to the keys. These are, uh, they're, they're a little bit of a mess, but um, the things that are on them, you'll see here in a moment. So I kind of want to cover up some of my keys here. So I have the two, you know, that I always have car key, and then I have my house key here. So I like this little connector here that's on my house key. Um, I got it off of Amazon a long time ago. And then, uh, so what happens is you can just pull it off and, you know, you can take your car key off or, you know, car key, separate your car keys from your, um, your house key. And what happens to me a lot is that I'm in a rush in the morning and I'll get my car started and be like, Oh damn, I need to go back to my car or go back to my house. I don't want to stop my car. I want to keep it running. So what I do is I pop this off and unlock my door, go get what I need, come back to my car and it's still going and attach it. I'm good to go again. So there's that. I'll explain this here in a little bit. Um, this goes to my bag and we'll talk about the bag along with this here in a little bit. Um, this, uh, flashlight, um, I got off Kickstarter, uh, another Kickstarter campaign that I did and it has, uh, it's not like the best, um, flashlight in the world but it's it's decently bright when i go out to my car at night or so i'll take it with me and just turn it on so it has a dim setting it's pretty dim and then it has a bright setting when you twist it some more so it's not bad um i turned my light off here to kind of show you how bright it gets um but not bad, not bad. Uh, and it, has, it charges by USB-C. Um, so it's kind of like your normal flashlight so far. So now where it gets a little bit more interesting is it has a pry bar here. Let me turn my light back on. It has a pry bar here. And then it also has has a lighter at the end of it. I haven't put any fuel inside of it yet to use it yet because I actually just got this not too long ago. It came through Kickstarter a little bit ago, but you sit here and you have to put your own fuel into it. So that makes it safer for tran on transport. So, um, but anyways, uh, that's great. A lighter at the end of it. I use lighters a lot at my job. So this actually comes in handy. Um, I used to be a smoker, but not really much anymore, but you never know. If someone needs a light, something like, here you go, man, right here on my keychain. And like I say, it just screws right back on. Very nice. I love the way it looks. Okay, last but not least, this thing here. It looks like a whistle. Uh, it looks like it might be like a pill container or something, but let's see if I can get it. I don't know if you can see that very well. But it has this, I think this, the design I picked through Kickstarter is like a, the spinal uh, design. So it's like a spine going up at the very top. There's a skull on it. You can see it. Really cool. But what is it? You can't, and so when you start to untwist it, you see it's kind of cool. Like it's like conceals it. You can't really tell what it is. So when you unscrew it, it's a pin. So I've been using this a lot. I don't always keep my bag on me when I go in restaurants. I'll put it under my seat or so. But this, this came in handy when I go to the bank or they forget to give me a pen to sign my check. Or if I go to the restaurant and they don't bring a pen for my check, for some reason they don't bring pens. It happens often. I've been using the hell out of this thing. And it is one of my most favorite things on my keychain right now. And kind of part of my whole EDC that is really cool. So my keys, there you go. Now, for entertainment, I see people bring, you know, uh, uh, a Nintendo Switch. Um, I have a Steam Deck, but it just doesn't fit in my bag. And the Nintendo Switch has controller drift on it, which if you don't know what that is, please look it up. Um, I, it makes it almost unplayable to enjoy any games on my Switch. So what I've gone back to, uh, again, from my old collecting game collecting days, is my Sony PSP. I love the PSP. The PSP was ahead of its time, and it has some amazing games on it. I have a choice select of games. They're small. They can fit in my bag, no problem. And then um, my game I'm playing through right now is a classic, so I'm a huge Mega Man fan, is I'm playing through Maverick Hunter X. Uh, right now it looks great uh, love it uh, the screen kind of looks a little funky through the um, 
through the camera right now, the, but it looks a lot better in person. Uh, I believe the screen is uh, 720p quality because back in the day, they I don't think they had a lot of 1080p if I remember right. Um, so this thing's nice. It's so minimal. You know, it's portable. Uh, I love it. And again, um, I go through... Uh, other games, I have uh, Castlevania, it's the Dracula X Chronicles. Um, I have a uh, Gradius collection, which has multiple uh, Gradius games on it, which is like a little shooter, like a space shooter game. And then I have a game that's really near and dear to my heart is Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins. One of the hardest games I've ever played, but it's amazing. But again, I mean, this thing, it's hard to get it in frame. See, it looks, it looks great. I love it. I love this. I love carrying my PSP. It has brought back a lot of memories, and I, for, I just forgot how amazing uh, the PSP was. Uh, and again, the battery life's great. I have something to charge it if I need it. I think the only thing I need to get now is something to plug in the earphones uh, with. I have some old Apple ones. I just don't have them on me. Um, but usually I'm in my car playing, so I don't really need them. Uh, I don't really play this in public very often. So uh, if I'm waiting on someone to get back from somewhere or if I'm just on my lunch break and I want to do something like this, this is where I go. Put it in the sleep mode, put it in my bag, and it's all good. So there we go. So guys, that's everything that's in my bag. Um, but let me show you the bag itself. This bag, I've bought several different bags. I've kickstarted several bags. And I'll probably maybe make a review one day on different bags that I have. A lot of them have let me down, but I've always come back to the very first sling bag that I ever bought is the modern day fair uh, sling bag here. Um, it looks small and it looks like not very much, but it's really stylish. I really love the modern day fair logo here. It's all in black. So it's not like this big modern day fair across it. I don't like bags that have a lot of big logos on it. So that's perfect. It's, it's like a blackout, you know, it's really great. A little bit of leather here. Um, and then uh, this, this clip right here is probably the best part about the bag. It's just, you just slip it to the slide, uh, to the slide, to the side, and then uh, to put it, lock it, you just drop it back on every time. Uh, it's, it's enjoyable every time. The magnet just, it just slides right back in and locks. So you can't get into it unless you slide it, which a lot of people don't know about anything about come bags like this. So if they're trying to get into it, you'll know immediately or they'll have a hard time getting into it. So uh, when I'm driving, uh, I'll walk out and then I'll turn my bag around from my back to the front. So this is me like I'm sitting in my car like this. When I'm going through a drive through getting breakfast in the morning, I just slide this off one hand and then I can reach in and get my wallet, give them my car and just slide it right out. Everything one-handed. And look at that, just falls right in there. I love hearing that click every time. Um, it has a lot of pockets in it. So let's get into the bag itself. So I'm gonna try to keep this flap open because this always goes forward. So we have a pocket up front. Uh, oh, I forgot to show the <laughs> the chiffon uh, multiple uh, what do you, connection uh, wires here that go with uh, my battery so this stuff works really well my co-workers i haven't come across a connection that i couldn't su support uh for my co-workers for their phone because everyone has a bunch of different phones old iphones for sure they have um so that goes in my front pocket and then so it has a large pocket here in the front two pockets here a little pocket right in the middle and then a large pocket on the back um, you can fit an 11 inch ipad here i have the 11 inch ipad air 4 but i have it in the logitech uh keyboard case and with the the extra um size on it it will not fit in here which is fine because i don't carry ipads with me there's no need to i have computers at work and i have my cell phone with me so i kind of don't understand sometimes carrying ipads unless you're doing some kind of editing or some kind of work with it um i don't need it there's no reason so if i wanted to i could take the case off and put it in here but again who in the world would carry something so expensive without a case on it so um there are the okay there's the inside and then behind here has a, another large um, pocket as well. Um, the back here, these things, when it's on your back, these fold out and it fits perfectly on your back. It just, it just hugs your back and it just stays on so nicely. Um, and I, I love, love this bag. I, I keep, I keep saying I need another bag, need another bag, but this 
never has let me down. I've even bought all the other modern day fair bags, and they don't compare to this one. They take stuff out of their bags that this stuff has, and I just, I don't know why, but this bag needs a remake of some kind maybe just a little bit bigger i wouldn't mind taking a little bit bigger of a bag how many liters is this i'm not 100 percent sure um i need to do more research on that or i'll link the uh, website down below where you can get one but this clip mm, every time man every time love it you can you know loosen it up to give this more space if you want to put clothes in here i've used it for the gym when i used to go um but this thing's great so let's put everything that i've shown you here in this bag One thing I forgot to mention, this, this here is a magnet uh, that goes into the bag. There's a, it's hard to see, there's a little spot here. This thing just, I don't, I'm not even moving it by the way. It just slides in, just like the front latch, it just goes right in and it clicks and then this thing's on there so again one-handed i can open the bag slide this off grab my keys and just keep going and for some reason uh no one has anything like this i don't i don't get it it's uh, one of the, the coolest things about this bag it's a great idea and it's great love that There you have it guys, um, everything in my bag. Now I keep my watch on me of course, and I keep my blade inside my pocket. So no need to put these in the bag. And they, if I needed to, they'd fit just no problem. Um, now also my phone always stays with me. So no need to have it in the bag. But again, if I wanted to, it'd fit in there no problem. So look at it, look how thin, it's still really thin on each side. I mean, it's not bulky. You know, uh, this I put the battery back there. I never really feel it in the back. You know, really comfy. Um, looks great. And I didn't mention the strap. This strap here is really cool, too. You just pull on this lever, another magnet. It just comes right off. You want it back? There you go. It just falls right back in. I love this i think a lot this is the very first bag that i saw had something like this um but then i see a lot of other bags doing it now uh, i doubt modern day fair was the first person to do it but i mean now every, every time i see a bag i see a mechanism like this all the time um so this really brought me into the edc which is this just this bag this bag alone so there you go guys um that is my edc video for today um it was my first one so sorry if it was kind of a little rough but you just let me know what you think about it um and again i'll try to link everything in the description below uh leave a comment and so let me know what you thought all right later guys